So in this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of normal distribution. Okay. So first of all, what is a normal distribution? When we plot our data and it adapts a distribution like this, then we can call it normally distributed. And when we can draw a line here on the distribution of the data, and if, if we call this line bell, bell curve, so if we can draw a line like this, uh, the bell curve on our data, on the distribution of our data, then we'll call it normally distributed. So here, the idea is that majority of our observation will be towards the mean. Okay, in an ideal world, majority of the observation will be towards the mean, and then we will have equal distribution on the left side from the mean and on the right side from the mean. So we, we will have equal distribution of data with smaller values from the mean and with larger values from the mean. And the extreme cases will be fewer. Okay, extreme low observations will be few, extreme high observations will be few. So that's the idea of normal distribution. Okay. And here, when we have normal distribution, we have some properties. One of the most important properties is that in a normally distributed data, we'll have the mean, median, and mode. All three will be same for the distribution of the data, okay? But often it is not really possible to get such data in a real world when we are, when we are doing statistics or when we are collecting some sample data. Often you will see that you have a skewed data. It could be negatively skewed when the distribution will be like this. And you will see that in a negatively skewed data, the more the the mode is higher than the median and the median is higher than the mean and in a positively skewed data the mode is lower than the median and the median is lower than the mean okay so this is how it looks normally when data is normally distributed we will have a skewness value of zero and here so when we talk about skewness what is actually skewness skewness refers to the symmetry in the distribution of the data okay if data is not skewed then we will have exactly similar distribution of data on the left hand side from the mean and also exactly same distribution on the right hand side of the mean okay this is non-skewed data this is symmetric data okay but here the distribution from the majority of the points the peak points here is not same on the right hand side and on the left hand side here also the same case so these are skewed data okay these are asymmetric that the distribution of data is asymmetric here and then we have another concept which is called cardosis and cardosis refers to the peakedness of the data okay how peak is the distribution so here for instance when we have negative cardosis you will see that we will have broad tails with a uh, broad broad distribution with thin tails so here if you compare with this this is a bit broader the distribution here is a bit broader but the tails are thin it is ending just uh, very quickly after the after the distribution so we do not have long tails here but in the positive cardosis here when we have a positive value of cardosis that means narrow distribution the distribution here you see this is narrower than this distribution but with fat tails, the tails are longer, okay? So now, when we have a normally distributed data, we will have together skewness of zero and cardosis of three. That's the ideal. And there are some complex, to some extent, complex equations to calculate these values. I'm not going through them, but you can calculate and normally if you go for descriptive statistics in any statistical package you will get the value of skewness and cardosis most of the time so normally we want a skewness values of a skewness value of zero but in an ideal world uh, it, it, that's that's the case in the ideal world but in practical situations you will not have really zero you will if you get a value of skewness between plus one and minus one or close to zero that is good enough and if you get a value of cardosis of three or close to three then it's fine okay so here you see when, when the when the cardosis value is less than three the distribution is broader when it is greater than three the distribution is narrower okay and it's more peak than this part here so these are the properties of distribution of data okay 
But then we have the main properties of normal distribution, which are here. So when data is normally distributed, the idea is that about 68% of data will be within two uh, within one standard deviation plus and minus from the mean. Okay, about 68% of the data will be within plus one and minus one standard deviation from the mean. Okay, this is a very powerful property you will see later. And then we have about 95% of data from plus to a standard deviation uh, within a range of plus to a standard deviation and minus to a standard deviation from the mean. Okay, and then about 100% data, uh, close to 100% data within minus three standard deviation and plus three standard deviation. Okay, so what does this mean? Let's say you have some data and you have calculated the, calculated the mean and standard deviation. Okay. And let's say your calculated mean is 50 and your standard deviation is 10. And you have uh, about 200 observation, okay? So in that case, what will be your mean minus one standard deviation? It will be 50 minus 10, you will have 40. And then mean plus one standard deviation, you will have 50 plus 10, 60, okay? So that would mean that within a range of 40 and 60, you will have 68% of data, okay? So 68% of 200 observation is 136. So you will have out of out of the 200 observations, you will have 136 which lies within this range, okay? Within one standard deviation of your data. The green shades here, okay? And then if you think about two standard deviation, then 50 minus 10 into two, that means 30 and 50 plus 10, 50 plus 2 into 10, that means 70. So that means you will have 95% of data within a range of 30 and 70, okay? Within the values of 30 and 70, you will have 95% of the data. And 95% of 200 means 190 observations, okay? so. This is a very powerful property here, and you can assume, okay, about approximately about the whole observation, 200 will fall within the three standard deviation range, okay? So you can see a detail about this here, and later we'll see when we do a statistical testing, and when, when we'll be talking about the concepts of statistical testing, you will see that this helps us a lot. Uh, just to give you some hint, when we talk about a statistical significance of 5%, and actually what we try to see is that if the calculated means are different from the 95% data, okay? And that's why we always care about this point here. You will see that we will, we care about 1.96 in plus and minus, which is approximately two, because in a normalized data we will have all, uh, the standard deviations are one, so that will mean that we'll have a two standard deviation here and we'll have a two standard deviation here, which is approximately 1.96 that you use that the, the exact term, the exact number is 1.96. And that's why normally when our calculated stat statistics does not fall within this 95% range and falls within, falls outside this 95% range, outside the two standard deviation, that's when we say that there is a significant difference or significant effect and these kind of things. Okay, so that's, that actually comes from here. So this whole say, this is actually a very important property of normal distribution and in, in a statistical significance testing, okay? So thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.